Aloha, beautiful humans of planet Earth. I'm your president of positivity, Ed the Dread. And I'm here at the White House today to address you all about our current worldwide disaster. A fear and greed based consciousness. We are currently collectively battling a global pandemic in the coronavirus. It is said that the majority of people who contract COVID-19 will suffer mild to severe symptoms but make a full recovery. It is also said that the majority of people who are losing their lives to COVID-19 have underlying health issues. Amidst all of this, we remain faithful that the symptoms will subdue at some point. At times, it's very tough to look past the effect this is having on ourselves, our nuclear family, our immediate community. But if we take a step back and take a larger perspective, we can see that Earth has contracted the coronavirus. Earth as a whole. If we take a step back and get a larger perspective, we can see that some areas on Earth are suffering mild symptoms, while some areas on Earth are suffering way more severe symptoms. Can we not also take a step back, gain a larger perspective, on the underlying issues to Earth's COVID-19 problem? Can we not see that greed at so many levels has not only assisted in the spread of the virus, but has dirtied our planet and tarnished our existence on it? Are we not sitting here as witness to a fear mentality that has put a stranglehold on us, making us believe in scarcity, although we live on a planet full of abundance. Just stop for one moment to think about why almost every press conference that you see turns out to be an international or interstate blame game. Take a second to think just why Essentially, all toilet paper has disappeared from the shelves. If we want to free ourselves from these sicknesses and this pandemic, we need to take a broader perspective. We need to act as one. If we want to heal ourselves, if we want to heal this planet, we need meditation, reflection, prayer, forgiveness. And we all know that we have plenty of time for these things right now. We need peace and love. We need to reflect on peace and love. We need to feel peace and love. But ultimately, we need to be peace and love. We need peace as surrender. Be at peace knowing that no matter what happens on this physical, material plane, everything will be okay. We are souls having a human experience. No one can ever take your soul from you, no matter what happens to your body. We need love as in the force that holds all of this together. The force that is both magnetic and electric. The force that makes you smile when you see two people hugging. Knowing deep down inside what it feels like to have a warm, endearing embrace yourself. We need the love that stops war, that heals trauma, tragedy, that overcomes fear. We must also keep in the forefront of our mind forgiveness. 
It's the catalyst to finding peace and love in any situation. It's the vibrational frequency that can free us from the victim mentality. Let us forgive ourselves. Let us forgive each other. Let us forgive our generational angers, frustrations, fr resentments, and guilts. Let us find comfort in the solitude of our homes, in the process of quieting the mind, in the slowing of our constant wants and needs. Let us stop pointing fingers, collectively and individually, as we strive to adapt to a shortly lived new norm. Let us fight together to flatten the curve and ensure a bright future, not only for our economy, but for all humans, for our planet, and all other sentient beings. Mahalo. All right, I appreciate the enthusiasm, but I'm only going to accept two questions today. Um, we'll start with you over there, right? And second will be you. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. President. What do you have to say to anyone that thinks that the stay-at-home order is just a bit much? Well, that's a very fitting question, Mahalo. What I have to say to those people at this point in time is, it's more about us than me, okay? Stay at home unless you absolutely have to go out. Work out in your living room, work out in your front yard, work out in your backyard, all right? Sit on your front stoop in the sun, sit on your back deck, pick up a new hobby, read a book, be inspired to try something you haven't done before. All right, go for a stroll if you need to, Go for a jog, ride a bike if you will, but come back home after, okay? Don't be hanging out or congregating in places where this virus can spread very easily and affect us more than it already is. I would also suggest if you go outside, wear a bandana or some, side of, some sort of kerchief over your mouth and nose region. Okay, we need to think less about the air we're breathing, which one is very important, but also we have to take into account that unless you have severe symptoms and are getting tested, you don't know if you have this. So we're all better off not spreading this saliva out into the atmosphere. The sickness is also spread from dirty hands touching your nose, face, mouth, and if you cover that, you are way less likely to actually touch those areas. Uh, or second question. Thank you, Mr. President. What do you plan on doing oh. to combat this pandemic? I appreciate that question the most. Mahalo for asking. First and foremost, I will continue to address you loving, beautiful people of the planet Earth from here in the White House in the most radically peaceful and loving way possible because I feel that's what we need right now. I will also be doing a live meditation daily on my Instagram live feed at Ed the Dread. No given time, no specifics like that, but just know that when that story goes live, I'll be sitting there in silence eyes closed, focusing on the breath. You can join me if you'd like. You can just watch if you want, or you can do nothing. Either way, the energy and intention are gonna be blasted into the universe. Mahalo nui loa, no oko manalo. Ahuiho 
If you got tears in your eyes and you stare at the sun, do rainbows shoot into your soul? Yes, they do. Blessings, my brother. That was my lesson today. That's exactly what I was told.